What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sector for Nerds. I'm Ryan Brower, and today we are here to talk about Star Wars Vision Season 2, Episode 5, Journey to the Dark Head. First up, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers on this channel by the end of this year, you guys. If we can do that, we will do a watch party live stream of an entire Star Wars trilogy. As far as which one we do, I will leave that up to y'all. But please, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. So let's talk about this episode of Star Wars Visions, you guys. Holy crap, this was a good one. I haven't decided where I rank it yet, but this is definitely up there as one of my favorite episodes of Star Wars Visions. Everything from start to finish had me intrigued. At the start, when you had this, you know, mechanic girl learning from that elderly man and talking about the statues and stuff, it's like, oh, okay, this is interesting. And then her being at the the Jedi Council speaking to them about the mission, and then for the one Jedi that we meet, the, the boy, and we get to see his backstory about how, like, there was this Sith that, you know, killed his master, and it's something that's haunted him ever since, because he's like, I'm gonna kill you, and he, like, you can see the anger in him, and the Sith sees that as well, right? You know, your anger, use the dark side of the force. I don't know why I attempted to do a Palpatine impression there, but whatever. It's something that clearly haunted him, and so, of course, the Council assigns him on a mission alone with this mechanic girl, and it's like, all right, this is gonna be an interesting pairing. Let's see where this goes. And at first, they're kind of, like, bickering back and forth with each other, and then, like, eventually they finally get on the same page. Of course, they run into that same Sith Lord, because, of course. And there's this really cool lightsaber battle throughout the episode. The Sith continues to tempt the boy to try and get him to join the dark side. We can rule as master and apprentice, all this stuff. But I think, like, the, the whole point of this episode was for them to go to these statues, and the girl felt that if they destroyed the Dark Side statue, it would turn the tide of the war. What she kind of realized was is that light and dark is all, like, sort of in tune with each other, right? Like, you know, I guess as Snoke says in The Last Jedi, right? Darkness rises and the light to meet it. There is both light and dark. I guess there necessarily can't be one without the other. And the whole idea of like, well, nothing is gonna change here. Even if we do this, it's still, the you know, the war will still continue. There's always gonna be the light and dark factor, always two sides butting heads with each other. And for both the young Jedi and the young mechanic, it was very much a learning situation for the both of them. And then in the end, they start like bickering back and forth with, with each other again. And it's like, oh, okay, here we go. But they admitted to being a good team. I did think that there was going to be more of like a romantic element between the two of them towards the end. But it, it, I don't think it necessarily needed that. Everything about this episode, you guys, I enjoyed. I loved the story. I loved the music. I loved the animation. This was a really good episode. So we are halfway through Star Wars Vision Season 2, you guys. So we still got four more episodes to go. What will we see next? Who knows? I mean, I'm sure you'll all know. And by the time this video goes up, I probably will know too. But for now, it is going to wrap us up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video with others to help support the channel. And I will see you guys next time.